Hello everyone, so Mayor Diana is going to be elected pretty soon, let's see, as of recording about two days from now, and she will have the Mythological Ritual perk, which allows you to dig up Griffin Burrows. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you three tips on how to increase your profits from them, and how to do them easier. If you watch till the end of the video, there's a secret fourth tip as well. So be sure to like and subscribe, and enjoy the video. Alright, so this is probably a tip a lot of you have already heard about already, but the first thing you want to do is sorrow swapping. Now what sorrow swapping does is it allows you to get more magic find by swapping to sorrow armor, which gives you plus 5 magic find per piece, which gives you a better chance to get rare drops, such as dwarf turtle shelmets, minos relics, and chimera books. So if we look at my magic find right now, I have no pet on, and I have 122 magic find. But, if I go and put on the Sorrow Armor, it should bring me up to 142% magic finds. So that's about 20 increase, and you can get some more with Griffin Pet and Daedalus Axe. Alright, so for my second tip, if you don't have a legendary Griffin, then just use a common one for doing Griffin Burrows, and I'll explain why. Because of the Odyssey perk from the Griffin Pet, Mythological creatures you find and burrows you dig scale in difficulty and rewards based on your equipped griffin's rarity. But you can't get any of the rare pet items such as crochet tiger plushie, antique remedies, dwarf turtle shelmet, all of that good stuff. You can't get that unless you have a legendary griffin. So if you were to use a common griffin, you'd be able to get the most griffin feathers with the least amount of monsters. Because if you used a higher rarity griffin pet, then you'd be getting more monsters, more coin rewards, but way less griffin feathers, which would which would end up in you making less money in total. All right, so for my final tip, you're going to need a leaping sword and a silk edge sword. The reason for that is because of their ability called leap, where if you right click, it launches you into the air and moves you a decent amount. This might not move you as quick as the aspect of the end or the aspect of the void, which teleports you 12 blocks at once, but it ends up taking less mana overall. So, let's see. If I take this aspect of the wood, that'll take me 12 blocks. But if I move, let's see. I went from positive 12 on the Z to negative 26. So that was about almost 30 blocks for the same amount of mana, as, or for about the same amount of mana as a teleport and this just lets you move around a lot quicker and it allows you to regenerate mana whereas if you're telling teleporting around with aspect of the end might get you there quicker but you lose a lot more mana in the process so i definitely recommend silk edge and leaping swords for movement if you're trying to get around to various griffin burrows now for my final tip you're going to want some slowness potions so that can be made by taking a speed 5 potion throwing in an enchanted glowstone, and then putting in a fermented spider eye to change up the speed 8 into slowness 8, and then purchase an enchanted gunpowder to, to turn it into a slash splash potion. And then when that's all said and done, you can collect them. And now the reason why we're using slowness potions is because for some reason there's a bug where Apparently, Slowness 8 can completely stop movement, so if we splash it on this Crypt Ghoul, it, it, it just can't move now. Like, he, he can't move. I, I, I don't know why this is a thing. He, he, he can't move. And yes, it works on uh, Diana monsters like Inquisitors, so... This will be really easy if you're trying to fight Inquisitors. Just splash them with a potion, and then they can't run around and hit you. I, 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 I love Skyblock. This, this is great. But uh, anyways, that's going to do it for today's video. If this was helpful to you, or you enjoyed it, then be sure to like and subscribe, as I'll be doing more of these in the near future. But uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.